G. Allen Incorporated brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Hampton as the Eagles and the Pirates meet for the 22nd time since 1924. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Henry Fraser III. And coach, as we move on into game number seven here in the 2011 season, your first year at NCCU, you're coming off probably one of your more disappointing losses throughout your career. Um, what was the, the most disappointing part of, of that ball game against Morgan State? There were a lot, there were a lot of disappointing uh, things, but the, I think the one thing that disappointed me the most was, was the lack of effort. I've always said it doesn't take a lot of time to give effort, and I didn't think we put forth the effort that I thought we were capable of doing, and it was very embarrassing. You know, and I felt bad for the fans, the alumni, and, 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 and to lose and to lose like that at home is unacceptable. And, and it's something that I'll never accept, I won't get used to, and I'm going to make sure that our players don't want to ever feel this feeling again, and I, and I have ways of, of doing that. And, and we, we're not going to get used to this, and, and this is going to be totally, totally unacceptable. When you look back at that ball game, the week before you had such a good performance or a performance that you could certainly build off of against South Carolina State and then to have that, do you feel like your program took a step back or in what you were trying to do or is just it's just, just another building block towards going to where you want to go? I don't think we took a step back. I think it's inevitable. You know, at some point, you know, when you're rebuilding a program, you're going to have that loss, that signature loss that just, just almost you just hit rock bottom. And I think that's what this was. And there's one of those situations where a wake-up call for everyone involved in the program, and especially for me. And, and I know what needs to take place and, and, and getting back out on the practice field and, and, and lighting that fire. You know, we, we played soft. We played extremely soft on Saturday. And, I, and I've never – I've had a game where we played soft, and my only remedy is, is to practice hard. You practice hard, you, you, you play hard. You practice soft, you play soft. So, you know – I had to evaluate myself, and we're going to turn things up quite a bit in practice. And, and the guys that's going to reach the field are going to be guys that's, that's totally bought in, that's totally committed, because after going through this week, you know, they, they go on, we'll know who really is committed to No Clown Central football program. Taking on a team in Hampton, Coach, who is is a, a, a overturned call away from being right in the thick of things as far as it goes for the MEAC title race. They're coming off a loss against – uh, Norfolk State in the Battle of the Bay, but when you look at them up, up and down, very talented, very solid football club. Could could be four and two, five and one uh, if things bounce the other way. No question. Uh, you know, well coached team. Uh, excuse me. The first thing that comes to mind is those linebackers, the way they fly around, making plays in the backfield, and and, and things along that line. And that quarterback, they have a special quarterback. He's a special talent. He's a dual threat, true dual threat guy. Big old target, and he can sling the ball around, and and he's he can run. And, and they're doing a good scheme in terms of getting him on the edge and doing some things special for for uh, for their quarterback. So another good football team, you know, pretty good conference. And and then for us, you know, we just got to go compete. We got to be able to compete. And I say compete meaning, hey, I'm gonna be focused. I'm 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 gonna dedicate all week to our opponent, not just Saturday, because you know you can't just turn on the switch on Saturday and think you're gonna be successful. So again, I have to analyze things, and I'm gonna have to start doing some some Thursday curfews, you know, and then some Friday curfews, because something is going on with us, you know, whereas, you know, we're not showing up for 60 minutes on Saturday. So, you know, to me, I've been around long enough to know that goes through, you know, something is going on during the week. When you look back at the season, hopefully this is a, a time where we turn this thing around. And, and what would that do for you, this team, to, to, to get a win against a team like Hampton? And what would it take? We need to win against anybody right now, and, and it's going to take us just just being focused. I, mean, I keep using the term focus because we're not we're not we're not a sorry team. We've played sorry, but we're not a sorry team. And if, if for us to just be focused, go out and execute the game plan for 60 minutes, we can be in games and have a chance to win, you know. But I think you know it, again, it's, I'm looking at myself starting with me as the head coach. You know, what am I doing? You know, what message am I sending? You know, and so I, you know, I've, I've, I've tweaked a few things that I'm going to do, and then hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll pay dividends on Saturday. Now, Coach, to add some levity to the situation, uh, you did pray to the football gods last week, and, and maybe this is their, their answer to you about uh, the, the direction of things, and, and maybe they're making you earn it a little more, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, it, again, I say you always have signature wins. You also have signature losses, and, and, and this has – 
this loss has, has I don't want to say rededicated me because I've always been dedicated, but it, it, it kind of it lit something in me, you know, because, it, you know, I always analyze at the midway point, and this Morgan State game is the midway point. But I've probably been soft as a coach, you know. That's why I'm soft coach. Soft players, they play soft. So everything has been pretty soft around here. And it helped with that pink day, you know. Pink, it was, it was soft around there in Durham on Saturday. So, you know, I check myself. And I always say that about myself after a loss. I'm the, I look at myself. I don't want to lose. I, I hate losing. And, 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 it, and it does pisses me off. And, and, it, and, it, and it gets me to a point, you know, now looking at my team at the midway point. You know, there's some things I gotta check. You know, I gotta check, and we're gonna we're gonna play hard nose football. I don't care if we we go the season, finish with 25, 30 players. It doesn't matter to me because practice is gonna get turned up. We're gonna hit in everything we do, and that's the only thing I know is to hit. So, you know, they come out to practice thinking they're going through the motions or what. You know, every every day practice is gonna be a game, and if guys just get hurt in practice, they just get hurt. But we ain't gonna be no more soft teams. That ain't happening no more. Well said, Coach. Thanks for time. Best of luck this week against Hampton. Uh, no problem. That's head coach Henry Fraser the third putting the hammer down on the program as they get ready to take on Hampton. Hopefully that'll turn things around after last week's 52 to three loss to Morgan State. That's JL Incorporated bringing this preview of North Carolina Central and Hampton. Enjoy the ball game. <laughs>